Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a bit of a walkthrough of this procedural uh, shader that is available on Gumroad. Um, the shader is for the sky background here, um, and you can see the node set up here. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the shader. Here's the shader on Gumroad. It is $4, but it saves you a lot of time um, setting up just really nice skies. You can see them animated here. Um, but if you want to download this, you can do here. It's $4. Uh, you'll download it and you'll get just a basic blend file, um, which this is that blend file. But what I've done is I've just put a little scene together just so we can we can see the clouds kind of looking quite nice with a bit of reflections and things like that. But once you open up the file, uh, you do get this. Uh, there's a camera, the cloud, uh, the cloud sun. Um, and then if we go over to the shader editor in the world tab, you get the nodes here. And um, we can just move that one out of the way. So really, well, this is this is all driven by this sky texture here, which kind of helps you choose the lighting for the sky. Um, I'm just going to press Control Z to undo that. Quite like how it's set up here. Um, but really, the power is in this node group here. So there's a lot of options. We'll just go through them kind of one by one. Um, I'm just going to move our camera kind of here just so we can see a bit more of the sky. Um, so starting with the height tab. Uh, that controls obviously the height of the clouds, how how tall you want your scene to kind of appear, I suppose. Um, you can bring them kind of all the way down, all the way up. Uh, with cloud scale, that kind of increases just how many clouds are on the sky. That does raise the height as well, so you might need to then tune the height down. Cloud detail uh, kind of does what it says on the tin. Um, it makes them a bit more realistic or a bit more cartoony, depending on what kind of style you want. The cloud roughness is kind of how soft how soft they are. If you want more like, I don't know what the, the right phrase is, it's a cumulus cloud when it's kind of soft like that. I, that's probably wrong. Uh, but you can make different cloud types with this, uh, the cloud roughness setting. Cloud coverage is just how much cloud there is actually in the scene. If you want a nice overcast day, we can do that here. The intensity controls kind of just how intense the clouds are, especially like how much the sun's affecting the kind of fringing of the clouds. Like here, you can see that. Uh, the shadow amount is it, it's almost how thick the clouds are, how much shadow is cast kind of internally within the cloud. Uh, that's all controlled through this, this shadow amount here. Um, cloud speed. This is how fast the clouds are moving. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide all of that um, just to try and improve the speed of the scene. But if we press play now, um, maybe I'll go over to material preview mode. Will that be better? Still three frames a second, but you can see kind of what's going on. So the, the cloud speed here is controlling how fast the clouds are moving in a certain direction. Um, if we'll go minus, they'll go the other way. If you don't want them to move at all, you can just obviously put cloud speed at zero. Uh, distortion amount is kind of, it distorts the, the noise texture. It makes some weird kind of looking things. You might want to play with that if you're doing a bit more of an alien landscape. Uh, the cloud color factor is kind of how much it, the color that you've set here is affecting the outside of the clouds. So this sky texture, the sky color here is driven by the prethem sky texture. Over in cycles, you can use uh, Nishita if you want to control, if you want to use um, the Nishita uh, sky texture, which is sometimes, it is a lot nicer than Prefum, a bit more realistic. You can do that here. Um, Nishita doesn't work with Eevee though, unfortunately, so uh, you are just stuck with Prefum. So yeah, that was just a quick overview of this procedural cloud texture. Um, as I said, the link is in the description. As I said, it is $4, um, but the kind of power instantly gives you light in, it gives you cloud coverage, gives you a sky. If you want to put a quick scene together, $4 
is kind of invaluable to save you that time. You could do this all manually, but obviously it would take you quite a while. If you want to learn how, I, if you want a bit more of a tutorial on how I put the actual animation together with the water and the, the balls and the, the sky, um, I will have a tutorial on that out on my channel soon. It'll, it'll go over how to implement this cloud texture into recreating it, but obviously if you don't want to buy the cloud texture, I will show you two free ways of getting some clouds into this scene as well. But for now, that's everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe below and um, you can hit the like button to let me know as well. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.